Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Films of Ben Seen Entertainment with an extra for my Beatles-a-thon. Today, we're going to look into the Beatles cartoon from the 60s that uh, didn't age that well. I'll go into why. But first, I'll go into an episode review of an episode I do remember watching last night. Now, this episode on YouTube was reversed, some segments of it. But I do remember, like, uh, unreversing them, so I'll try my best to remember what, what I saw. So basically, the Beatles in this episode, which song is, well, let first let me go into some of the things that this show does. The formula of the cartoon was that each song, the Beatles had their own episode, and it was even somewhat matching to the plot. That was the formula of the whole show and and such. So anyway, in this episode, she loves you. The Beatles are on a ship. I believe, from what I saw last night. And they discover this damsel in distress. Actually, before that, they see um, a man with a huge sword. And when the Beatles break into the room, they apparently find out that the damsel in distress is actually not as pretty as they thought she would be. And so... She goes after them because she thinks they're pretty, in her opinion. But anyway, the song that plays is, of course, She Loves You. But before that, the guy who had the sword earlier comes in and tries to attack the Beals with knives. Because he's a knife thrower. And... He's a, he's a professional knife thrower, so he starts attacking the mules with knives. And so, the whole song that plays, She Loves You, happens while the Beatles are being chased by these knives. And the guy who's throwing the knives. Anyway, there's some other things I want to get into, but... I want to also express that this show never really got a DVD release. I know someone who makes DVDs in the family, and they actually made a DVD of this show. For family only, of course. We can't really sell it because we're not in association with the Beatles. But anyway, it seems the main reason this show never really got a DVD released in the first place was because of the abundance of racial humor. As absurd as that may sound, it actually is true. I remember some episode, other episodes, including some of that humor, such as, um, I can't remember. It's kind of hard to remember that some of the songs actually had episodes that had that kind of humor. But seriously. Oh, wait. I think I do remember. One major example, I think, in the show, for me, is It Won't Be Long. That episode had John Shrink. John Lennon. He became small in that episode, and then all of a sudden, there are these, uh, I don't know, um, people who are stereotypicalized as stereotypes. And it wasn't very good stereotyping either, but there are no stereotypes that are pretty good either anyway. But anyway, the only thing I remember most about the show is the cartoon Ringo. Now, first of all... I did meet Ringo in 2017, like you saw in the image of me with Ringo in the Hard Day's Night review. I'm sure you remember that. I don't know if you remember me showing that in other videos. I remember one thing when I was watching this cartoon at my uncle's house. Apparently, this was the first time I ever heard the actual Ringo's voice. Prior to this, I only heard songs from Paul, George, and, and John. I never heard any songs from the actual Ringo, and now when I listen to the actual Ringo voice from the episode Boys, I now know what he sounds like, and I was shocked. It wasn't like, <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing, you know? But seriously, the cartoon Ringo is pretty goofy. And it's kind of sad he's being portrayed here like a goofball. Not only that, but an actual butt monkey, which of course means that 
he's being picked on by everyone. I mean, seriously, he's like the drummer of the band. He's underrated. Oh my God, people have actually said that he ruined some songs of the Beatles, and that makes no sense. He's a great drummer, probably the greatest drummer of all time in most people's opinions. I mean, seriously, cut some slack. But anyway, the Beatles cartoon may not be great, but there is some charm to it if you don't look at the racist humor. However, there is no DVD release. But if you see that some people are making fun of the cartoon on the internet only with memes, it's kind of strange. I've seen that recently. They're, they're making memes of this show on the internet. It's pretty strange. But anyway, see you all.